Y'all probably looking at the title like, Zarya sneaking a boy in? Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I am Zarya and I'm back with another video. Before we even get started, I do have a shirt on, very much skims. I just have to let that be known because we have shirts on, okay? Okay, anyways, as y'all can see by the title, I'm giving y'all something a little, a little bit different. Like, I don't really post story styles on my channel like that, but I'm giving y'all a little bit of everything. So, yeah. Y'all probably looking at the title like, Zarya sneaking a boy in? yeah anyways before we even get into this video make sure you subscribe and click that bell to be notified i'm not upload because this week i'm dropping all bangers so yeah keep up let's get straight into this video y'all so this goes back in like 2019 2020 so basically um i was dating this boy we met at school like we took this class together too. and so the way we started talking or whatever he was definitely a senior i was definitely a 10th grader we had that we was in this class where it was like a group thing so it was like a jag class jobs for america's graduates or something like that everything we worked as a group pretty much we were doing this like group project or something like that where we all had to get each other numbers. So we was in a whole group chat or whatever. So me, him, some other people, da da da. So the same night that we made the group chat, I wasn't texting in the group chat because I was doing my hair. And he texted me separately and was like, why you not texting in the group chat? Da da da. You know, trying to swivel his way into talking to me or whatever. So basically I was just like, yeah, I'm doing my hair or whatever. And then he was like, oh, okay. And from then on out, we started talking, getting closer, and dating. We were together for, like, the whole year into the summertime. So, basically, this is when COVID started. So, you know, that whole spring break. As soon as we went on spring break, COVID came up and school got canceled. <laughs> so, basically, we had all this free time or whatever. We had all this free time. And so, yeah, I don't, I can't remember exactly, like, when we started. Like, if it was right when COVID began or, like, I don't know. I don't know if it was the week of COVID or the week after COVID. I don't know. But, yeah, y'all, so we was real close. Like, we used to spend so much time together, go out together. He used to, like, come over here a lot. So, him and my mama were kind of close. They, they basically had, like, a friendship. A friendship. <laughs> they basically had like a relationship or whatever so we used to spend so much time together like that was the first boyfriend like i would spend late nights with and i wouldn't get fussed at like i'd tell my mama okay we gonna be out late type stuff or you know and she would be okay with it like that was the first boyfriend that i would go out of town with type stuff like that was the boyfriend i did everything with so it's basically like we were so like this so basically, with that being said, um, because we were so close, it was just like, you know, like we wanted more, we wanted more, we wanted more. Plus being me being me, I'm like a lover girl. Like I'm I wouldn't say I'm clingy, but I am clingy and I like to just lay up and cuddle. I love cuddling, like I'm a cuddle girl, like I'm a lover girl, like for real. So, yeah, my mama go to work at, like, 6 a.m. And she gets off at, like, 4 p.m. That's, like, the whole morning and afternoon. Like, that's the whole freaking day. So, we came up with this great idea. <laughs> we came up with this great idea to just, okay, let me sneak you in. And we could go to sleep and stuff like that and chill and vibe and da 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 So, great idea. Mind you, we have cameras outside like all around the house so basically yeah so one night we decided to do this thing we stayed up all night while he was playing the game and i'm doing whatever on my phone and watching tv and stuff like that 
we stayed up all night and then as soon as my mama would leave like i would pretend like i was asleep and my mama always come in here before she go to work she would always come in here and check on me so yeah every time i knew that she would come in here and check on me i would act like i was asleep so she leave the house boom i tell him to come over boom so basically he comes over at like 6 7 a.m whenever she leave the house and he would bring his game because his game system just in case like we not really doing nothing and he want to play the game which was fine like i felt like a whole like i was just living life like we was just living it up at this point being way too comfortable like for real so <laughs> So basically y'all like to get into my house you basically have to drive from like come in from the back way instead of the front way. That's the way we normally come in because our garage is at the back. So he would always come in through the back way. So mind you I don't know why we did this stupid idea but basically I had him park his car in our garage. And I know why, but it's just like, why did I do this? Like, this is what got us caught up. So, yeah, he um parked his car in the garage every time because we wasn't really trying to hide from my mama because I felt like I was just too swift with it. Like, I just felt like I could, I could hide you from my mama easily. Like, that's how I felt. Like, you could be out of here before my mama get off. Plus, I had a Life 360 on, so it's just like, we had each other Life 360, so I was, like, so good. Like, I felt like I was okay with it. So, basically, yeah, I had him park his car in the garage because I was trying to hide from, like, if my daddy pull drive up or drive by our house, he wouldn't see a car outside because he knows my mama's work schedule, my aunt knows my mama's work schedule, and everybody in our family knows my mama's work schedule. So, it's like, if they drive by and see a car outside, they know how young I am. They know I'm not supposed to have company when my mama's not here. So it's like, yes, we're going to get caught by them. So that's what I was trying to hide from. I was not trying to hide from my mama. So mind you, they, they also have a camera in the garage. Now y'all probably thinking like, why are you not worried about the camera? I'm not worried about the cameras because the TV that the cameras play on, like at the time, the TVs was broke. So it's like, she not going to catch it unless she get a new TV. That's how I feel. So... You got the cameras playing, yeah, they still rolling, but you don't have no TV, so you can't see what's going on. That's how I really feel. So, boom. The first time I snuck him in, it went great, like, real smooth. We went to sleep. We woke up. I fixed us some breakfast and stuff, feeling like, you know, wifey, giving wifey vibes. So, I got him out of there on time, and she would come home and act like nothing happened. Like, like real smooth. So, I was just like, oh we we got this like we could do this like every day like we was getting so comfortable with it and this was going on for about like maybe two weeks i don't know maybe two to three weeks probably longer i don't know but the only days we couldn't do it was over the weekends because she was off over the weekends i had my alarm set every day to where we would wake up before she came home because like i said she normally came home around like three o'clock 3.50 maybe later than that so we was up and out of there before she even got home so this day specifically <laughs> this day we did our same routine i got him in like i normally get him in and we went to sleep well <laughs> i had my alarm set for the time that i normally have my alarm set i probably i think i probably used to sit around like either either 3 or 3 15 or something like that and I had my alarm set before, you know, to wake us up, make sure we up before she get off. Well, this day she decided to get off a little earlier. So, I would have dreams. Like, I would have, I had dreams when he was over here and we was sneaking in and stuff like that. Like, I had dreams of, like, us getting caught or her walking in. While, you know, like, I had dreams like that while he was here. And it would never be real. Like, so I would just wake up in, in, like, a panic and, like, oh, my God. But she's not here. Like, it's nothing. Like, I just was scared that we was going to get caught. So, 
<laughs> uh, and I still ignored it. Like, it was God trying to tell me, like, you need to stop. But I still ignored it. Anyways, yeah, so he came over. Anyways, yeah, so we sleeping over there. We cuddled up. You know, I got shorts on and my little tank top on. And he got his shirt off and his little shorts on. And we all cuddled up, cuddled up sleeping too good. Alarm said we ready. Like, we just ready. Like, we thinking it's just another day, another dollar. Like, so, yeah, we sleep. And tell me why I heard the garage go up. But I thought I was dreaming once again. I thought it was just one of my little dreams of me being scared. So at this point, I was so used to the dream that I was just like, uh, I'm just going to ignore it. But something told me to open my eyes. And I opened my eyes and I still hear the garage going up. And I'm like, oh shit, like, this, this is real life. So then I had to snap into reality, like, all right. So I woke him up, I'm like, all right, get up, get up, get up. So he get up, I jump out the bed, I put on my pants, I'm putting on my socks. He putting on his shirt and stuff, his socks, his shoes, all this other stuff. I put on my Crocs, my robe. And mind you, he, bought, he brings his game over here. And so his game plugged up to my TV and all of this other stuff. Tell me why this man opened my closet and was about to get in the closet and hide. I was like, what are you doing? Your car is in the garage. He was like, oh shit. So he like, fuck. So he, it, I'm trying to hurry up and just maneuver our way into the freaking living room. Because if you think about it, like, it would be so much easier, less commotion if we in the living room. We could lie and say we was talking and anything like that. Like, we could just be in the living room. But we in the room, you know it's going to be bad. So I'm trying to hurry up and make it to the living room, but it's too late. Like it seemed like it seemed like as soon as that garage went up, she was already in the house. To get in the house, like it normally take her a while because it normally take her a while. Like she'll sit in her car for a minute. She'll like take a long time opening the door. And then you have to turn off the alarm, and because you have the alarm too, and it's loud. Like you have to turn off the alarm too. Man, she did all of that within 30 seconds. Like, it literally felt like it was 15 seconds and she was already in my room. Like, literally. So, <laughs> bro, we just sat down at the edge of the bed. Like, it was nothing we could do. She already in here. She was on the phone her boyfriend at the time. She was like, she was like hold on, let me call you back because these bitches got me f***ed up. So, <laughs> so she walked back. She walked back here and she was like, I know you f***ing lying. I know you f***ing lying. So y'all in my house? What y'all doing in my house? She just going in like, in. Uh, y'all already know about that, that pregnancy video. My mama is crazy. My mama is real crazy. So just take what she said from that video and just imagine what she said walking in. Like, y'all already know. So yeah, she going in and in and in and in. And then she going to ask us, how long y'all been doing this? I was gonna say something like, this our first time, mama, like this our first time, we was just talking. This nigga said, probably for like a week. I'm like, bro, like, <laughs> why would you, why would you say that? Like, bro, like, you ain't even give me no. <laughs> so, yeah, he trying to be honest and stuff where I'm still trying to lie because it's already bad enough that we in here by ourselves. Like, it's bad enough. We already got caught sneaking in at least say it's our first time even though she not stupid so it's just like but still i was definitely gonna lie and say it was just our first time but he was like for about a week or two i'm like bro she like she like what was y'all doing in here and all of this other stuff i was like mama we was just taking a nap like we was we was being good kids this day <laughs> we was definitely being good kids this day you know so yeah we was literally just taking that that was it that was it so i felt real confident with that answer because that's all we was doing was just taking a nap like i didn't have to lie about that so i was like mama we was just taking a nap she was like she was like y'all acting like y'all grownish like yes we were very much grown <laughs> but yeah she was going in and she had us walk back there into the living room to finish talking over there for 
So we talking and stuff. And she was like, y'all might as well get y'all kisses and hugs or whatever y'all need to do right now because y'all not seeing each other until I say so. So, yeah. So we was just like talking and stuff. She left outside telling everybody that she could tell all her everybody like she was just telling everybody she could tell what happened like girl why is you why is you being like that so yeah she was doing all of that extra stuff or whatever and basically like we was just talking and stuff he was like i'm sorry i'm sorry and all this other stuff i was like it's fine bro i'm finna have to deal with this by myself like you finna go home and do whatever you want to do play on the game hang out with your homeboys your mama don't even know plus you pretty much grown so you can just walk off with a free pass and here i am gotta listen to this bullsh all day like i gotta i'm the one gotta handle this like i'm the one who gotta take the bullshit like she finna be in my ass like all day and all week <laughs> about this same stuff so it's like you good you could walk off with a free pass but me no no i am i am done like i am done but that was definitely the last time i snuck a boy in because no no like no <laughs> but yeah y'all like that's what happened that's what happened i feel like this was a real short and simple story time but it was interesting to me and yeah i just wanted to give y'all something different y'all know but that is definitely it like if y'all enjoyed this story time though let me know let me know i would definitely do more story times especially on him because i have so many story times with me and him like juicy juicy story times literally so yeah let me know if y'all like this story time make sure y'all like comment and subscribe and follow all of my socials which is all in the description box below so yeah go check that out and i'll see you guys in my next video bye y'all do you even feel me? No, you don't. I know. You don't. I know. Impatient, conceited, but I swear it's like I